Hey there. So I'm going to do a strainer. Well, it's not a strainer pour. Uh, this is what you wring your mop in when you're doing the cleaning your floors. Over the, it fits over a bucket. I thought about, actually my husband thought about using that. He said it probably would be a good idea. Um, it's got very large openings in it here. So I thought it would be kind of different. It's an experiment, so I want to see how it looks. Um, the only problem was in here, uh, there was an opening in the middle. So if I pour the paint down, it's not... It's not going to come out the sides, it's just going to come out the bottom. So, because it's quite big, so I don't know if I would fill up the paint that much that it would come out the sides. So, so what I did was I cut out a piece of plastic and I taped it to the bottom so that when I pour the paint, it will flow out the sides and not the bottom. And I'm going to see if that works. So, give it a try, you never know. So the colors I'm using are neon blue, uh, king's blue, a very pale grayish blue. And this is called light violet, but it looks more pinky. And then black and white. So I think I'm going to start off with black. Um, I just want to mention also, I mix my paints um, for bottle paint like this, the flow paint. I use one part fl uh, flow troll and one part paint. When I'm using the tubes of paint like this, I use, I have to use two parts uh, medium to one part paint because it's thicker. And then in the colors, not in the black and the white, but in the colors I used coconut milk, um, anti-breakage serum. It's got dimethicone in it. Works really good for giving cells. Put a couple of drops in the colors here. And then, uh, so my mixture anyway, I uh, so I do the, the, the medium and the paint, and then I add water to make it the right consistency. So I'm going to show you the consistency. I think I'll use my white. I'm going to just tip the camera a little bit so you can see. Oh, that's my white stick. That's what you want to flow off the stick like that. Like they say it's like warm, warm honey, I believe. Okay. If you have any comments for me or suggestions, you can um, put them below the video in the comment area. Um, yeah, leave me a message ask a question, whatever. I'll be glad to answer you. I answer all my questions. So here I go. Start off with the black. Okay, here we go. Try and get it right in the middle. I also leveled my I had to level this, I put this um, tray tray down and I didn't realize it's a little wonky underneath it and it made my last painting not level and I didn't check that before I started so this time I did check it and I had, had to adjust it a little bit so it's going out more on the one side, I don't know why okay, a little bit more on that side Uh, doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be flowing out like I wanted. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, maybe 
Maybe it is. Maybe I was wrong. I guess I have to stand up to make sure I get it in the middle. It seems to be going to one side more than the other. And I'll get some white in there. Some of this color. I actually should have made more of this. Save some and try black. It's in looking pretty cool when it's coming out. It's, sorry if I didn't speak loud enough. It said it looks pretty cool. Holy lolly. Pretty cool coming out. Didn't couldn't tell with the black, but now I can tell with the colors. So what's next? I will go this blue. Try white again. This is working. This is looking pretty good. I really like it. Almost looks like a bottom bottle pour with a lot of bumps. <laughs> a lot. Okay, what's next? Tiny bit more black. Blue. I don't know if you can see that on the side here. That looks pretty neat. Pretty neat. Alright, I'll try some of this color again. I do a little bit of black. No, oh, maybe I'll go this blue. I have a lot of this blue, so use it up. It seems to be going up one side more than the other, but I'm wondering if I should stop soon. Okay, do a little bit of white again, and then I'm just gonna let it let it flow a little bit just to see how far it's going out because it does it is moving quite a bit. I lied. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue in there. Tiny bit of, tiny bit of black, and then I'll put this on top. That's the last of that. I think this is it, and then I'm just going to wait.
think I'm going to lift it now and then I'm going to pour some black around the outside. Because I don't really want it to move much more than this. Oh, that looks so cool in the middle. So, yeah, I don't have much black. So what I'm gonna do, um, what should I do? Should I put white around the outside? Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seems to be going this way, so I'm going to oh, it's falling out the hole. Ah. I'm going to put white around the outside. Not really moving much more. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the middle. Oh. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I don't know whether to go in or out. I really like how it's looking. I don't want to touch that. So I think I'm going to go start here. And go out. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do every other one. Worked out perfect.
not moving at all. That looks pretty good. doing another little thing here just feel like it needs something else so I'm gonna just do this and do this this and this oh and I did that one already I think that's it I don't even want to move it. I can't move it. I'm afraid to move it. So I hope it dries like this. I really like it. And I'm not going to move it or touch it or anything. It's not moving anymore. It stopped moving. So I'm just going to leave it, let it dry. Before I go, I'm just going to show you a close-up. I really like how the center turned out. Love it. Okay. Bye for now.